All right, man, a lesson that, I ain't even gonna say a lesson, a kind of quote that I've been constantly repeating to myself is, whatever the present moment presents, you have to accept that as if you had chosen that yourself. Whatever the present moment presents in your life, you have to accept it as if you chosen to experience this moment yourself. And what that means is like, whatever you're doing right now, watching this video, whether you're sitting outside watching the video, whether you're in your room, on your bed, on YouTube, on your phone, like if you're like homeless, whatever the case may be, whatever you're experiencing in your current life right now in this moment as you're watching this video, you have to accept that as if you had chosen to experience that. Because anything outside of accepting where you're currently at right now in life is called self-created stress. That's called self-created anxiety. That's called self-created depression. And notice how I'm saying self-created. Notice how I'm saying self-created before I say the word depression or anxiety or stress. Because that's all you're doing is self-creating all those things when you're denying the present moment, when you're denying what you're experiencing right now in this moment. And like I said, I don't care if you're you're homeless. I don't care if you're broke right now. I don't care if you're feeling lonely. I don't care if you're like feeling depressed. Like whatever it is you're feeling, you have to accept what it is you're feeling, accept where you're currently at right now in your life before you can make any changes. Because living in denial is not gonna get you anywhere and it's not gonna change anything. Like I can't sit here and just be like, nah, I know I'm broke, but nah, I don't accept that. I know I'm, I know I'm poor right now, but I don't accept that. I know I'm like homeless right now. I know I'm lonely right now, but nah, I don't, I don't accept that. You gotta change that. Like, who is going to change that? Who is going to change that loneliness feeling you're feeling inside? Who is going to change you being broke? Who is going to change you being poor? Who is going to change you feeling lonely? Like, no one else or anything outside of you can change that. So denying that isn't going to do anything but stress yourself out. It's not going to do anything but enhance that depression you're already feeling. It's not going to do anything but enhance that anxiety and that loneliness that you're already feeling. So the first step to making any changes in your life is understanding that you have to accept it, accept whatever moment that you're experiencing right now as if you've chosen to put yourself in that. Because once I shift my perspective to that, once I started to look at everything that I'm experiencing in any given moment as if I chose to put myself through that, then it's like now I'm looking at it, I'm looking at this situation with power. Now I'm looking over this situation like with the open mind because I'm looking at it like, all right, I'm, I'm putting myself through this. So what can I do to take myself out of it? What can I do to change this situation? Like now I'm looking at this experience, whether it's a negative or positive experience, with an open mind, with more perspective. Like I'm actually able to make change because I have an open mind. My emotions are free. I'm looking at it with the positive mentality. But if I'm looking at any situation, good or bad, that I'm in, and I'm like, nah, I don't like that. Nah, I don't agree with that. Like, if I'm living in denial, then I can't make any changes because I have, since I'm living in, since I'm denying that I'm experiencing this, that means I have no power to change that. You would never deny something in life that you have no power to change. Like, if I'm, for example, like, let's say, for example, like, I'm, I want to be with this girl and I don't know if she wants to be with me. Like, I can't deny that I want to be with her. I can't deny that I feel this way about her. I have the power to change the way I feel about her by whether that's distancing myself from her, blocking her, ignoring her, but I can't deny how I'm feeling about her right now in this moment. I'm going to accept how I feel about her and then I'm going to think logically like, all right, what am I going to do about that? What am I going to do about how I'm feeling about her? I'm gonna accept that, for example, let's say you're broke. I'm gonna accept that I'm broke right now. Okay, now what am I gonna do about that? What changes can I make currently right now in my life to change that so that I don't experience this again? So that I don't experience this lonely feeling, this broke feeling again? Like, that's why acceptance is the key behind anything. That's why acceptance is the key to, like, true peace in life. Because I honestly think that's all it is. Like. 
we got to understand that peace, happiness, joy, like that freedom feeling, all of those emotions come from within. And they're always there, ready to be expressed inward and outside of you. But that stress is blocking that. That depression is blocking that. That anxiety is blocking you from experiencing those emotions and letting them pour outside of you. So that's what I'm saying. The key is to, instead of trying to focus on, you know, finding peace, instead of trying to focus on finding happiness and finding that joy and all of that in your life, like focus on accepting where you're at so that you can let go of that stress. Focus on accepting this present moment that you're experiencing right now so you can let go of that anxiety, so you can let go of that depression. Because once you let go of the anxiety, the depression, and the stress, the only thing you're left with is that peace. The only thing you're left with is that happiness. The only thing you're left with is that joy, is that freedom. So that's pretty much it, man. I'm not trying to make this video too long. Like, I just want us all as a collective to just be in a accepting mentality. Be in the mentality of like, I chose to put myself through this. I chose to put myself through a heartbreak. I chose to put myself through feeling broke. I chose to put myself through feeling lonely. Like being that mentality, because now when you look at it like I chose to put myself through that, you're gonna start thinking like, why did I choose to put myself through this? What am I trying, what am I trying to teach myself in this experience? What am I trying to learn from this experience? Now you're taking something positive from everything that you go through, whether good or bad. But if you're looking at things like, nah, I don't, I'm not I'm not trying to experience that, so no. I know I'm broke right now, but nah, I'm gonna ignore that feeling. I know I'm lonely right now, so nah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go hang out with this person so I don't feel lonely. Like when you're living in denial and denying yourself, like denying that you're feeling the way that you're feeling and that you're experiencing the moment that you're experiencing right now, you're not doing anything but creating more self-stress, more self-problems, more self-anxiety, and more self-depression. And I'm going to leave it at that, man. So just be in the accepting mentality. Just accept everything you're going through in your life as if you chose to put yourself through that. And I promise you, if you live in that mentality of looking at everything you go through as in, all right, I chose to put myself through this. So what am I trying to teach myself from this situation? What am I trying to teach myself from this experience? If you get in that mentality, man, that is a great way to subconsciously stimulate your own personal growth on an internal level and the external level. And I promise you that, man. So I'm going to leave it at that, man. I hope you learned something from this video. And if you did, make sure you click that like button. Make sure you share this with someone who needs to hear this. And make sure you subscribe to the channel for more. Other than that, I'm sending peace, sending love, sending blessings as always. Elevate.